Mean World Syndrome, a cognitive bias articulated by George Gerbner in the 1970s, suggests that individuals can perceive the world as being more menacing than it actually is due to sustained exposure to violent content in mass media. Initially, the syndrome was connected solely to television consumption, with research later identifying social media as another significant contributor. Supporters of this syndrome argue that prolonged contact with violent media can stir feelings of fear, anxiety, pessimism, and heightened alertness in viewers. In response to supposed threats, a critical part of Gerbner's life work explored the influence of television and a particular violent media on viewers his seminal cultural indicators project CP was a groundbreaking investigation into television's impact on people's worldview and attitude. Consequently, Gerbner's cultivation theory proposing that constant exposure to media slowly shapes viewers' reality perception played a significant part in formulating the mean world syndrome. Essentially, the theory posits that the more time people spend engrossed in the television world, the more likely they are to believe that social reality mirrors what they see on television screens. This can grossly distort an individual's perception of world events. When Gerbner divided viewers into light, medium, and heavy, categories based on television consumption, he found that heavy viewers were more likely to have beliefs and opinions resembling television scenarios rather than real life. Situations these heavy viewers were more prone than others to experiencing shyness, loneliness, and depression. Thus, the roots of the mean world syndrome can be traced back to Gerbner's cultivation theory suggesting that those engrossed in substantial amounts of television are more likely to regard the world as a dangerous and terrifying place. Gerbner raised serious issues about the effects of violent media content on children. Research indicated that by the end of their elementary education, children were exposed to around 8,000 murders and roughly 200,000 acts of violence on television. Gerbner termed these consequences as the mean world syndrome. His research suggested that excessive television viewing created a perception of an unkind, violent world, leading to fearful and dependent behavior. In 1981, he presented these findings before a congressional subcommittee, emphasizing the problematic influence of violent media, particularly on children. He pointed out that such content increased fearfulness, making individuals more manipulable and responsive to simple but tough measures. Subsequent studies and numerous congressional hearings have consistently agreed on this view, that media violence promotes aggressive behavior and distorts perceptions of violence and crime. Gerbner, along with Larry Gross, further expanded on these findings in 1976 to conceptualize the cultivation theory. Gerbner argued that society's narratives, previously shaped by parents, educators, and community, were increasingly governed by a few global conglomerates with commercial interests accordingly. He developed the Mean World Index to study the impact of violent TV content on individual attitudes and beliefs about crime and violence. As TV became a central part of American households and violence on TV increased drastically, Gerbner's large-scale studies confirmed his theory. Individuals who watched considerable amounts of TV perceived the world as more dangerous. Various studies since the 1970s have reinforced Gerbner's conclusions, linking heavy viewing of violent content to rising levels of depression, fear, anxiety, anger, pessimism, post-traumatic stress, and substance use. The American Academy of Pediatrics also acknowledged in their 2009 policy statement that media violence induced aggression, desensitization to violence, and fear of harm among viewers. Furthermore, a 2018 study by the University of Oklahoma supported the connection established between excessive viewing of disaster television and psychological outcomes. Gerbner's research primarily centered around the effect of television consumption, though the principles of his cultivation theory have been upheld through studies on more diverse media, like newspapers, film, and even photographs. While his work concentrated on TV due to the relative infancy of social media at his time, Ongoing research now includes studies about the influence of social media and the distribution of violent content through it. There's been a growing interest in understanding the psychological effects of social media, likening its consequences to those of television, further reinforcing Gerbner's theory. John Keem, a U.S. State Department psychiatrist, warned about the potential bias and emotional impact it may have if one gets too involved in online disputes or contentious topics. The global spread of COVID-19 in 2019 drastically altered our media consumption, as more people were secluded indoors and relying on different forms of media. Amid this crisis, a term called doom-scrolling 
became popular to denote the excessive consumption of negative content, particularly related to the ongoing pandemic, a 2021 study affirmed this impact, revealing that even brief exposure to pessimistic COVID-19 news resulted in immediately diminished optimism and positivity. This delicate scenario also heralded new studies linking Mean World Syndrome with social movements like Black Lives Matter, film, and COVID-19. A 2020 study discerned a connection between anxiety and distressing media coverage of the BLAM movement. A 2010 documentary called The Mean World Syndrome, Media Violence, the Cultivation of Fear, published by the Media Education Foundation, succinctly encapsulated the works of Gerbner and others on the impacts of violent media. The film saw Gerbner discussing his research on media violence and its effect on American society with Michael Morgan, Gerbner's close associate, acting as the narrator. 